Oilers post game after a dominant 8 1 win over the Drayton Valley Thunder and joined by tonight's first star, rookie defenseman Sam Hall, even though he's one of the oldest players on the roster. You end up with your first two AJHL goals today to go along with two assists. Just tell me a bit about how good you felt as of late because it seems like your ability to contribute to this team has just been growing by leaps and bounds. Yeah, no, it's been great. Uh, you know, the team's been playing really well. Um, you know, I got to give all the credit to my teammates. Everyone just kind of helped me kind of get comfortable in the systems that we have here. And we have phenomenal coaching as well. So just putting me in good positions. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been really good. Hopefully we can keep this rolling. So tell me a bit about uh, that first AJHL goal feeling. You get just one uh, long try from the blue line. You've tried plenty of those all year, and they just haven't found the back of the net yet. It's not the main part of your game as a defenseman, obviously. But to get that first one, is it still you know a big piece for you as you start your career in junior? Yeah, no, it was really exciting, and uh, it was just a big moment in the game for us, you know, so the team kind of been battling and uh, struggling to break through, so it was really nice to kind of get that, get some more momentum going our way, and then we just kind of kept rolling from there. And you had that second goal, obviously the blast from the circle, and then a really nice assist, I thought, in that third period, too, to, to set up Brett Wilson in front. What did you think overall was going so well for this team offensively? You know, not just for you guys to put up eight goals tonight, but to put up 21 goals in the last three games, too. Yeah, no, we just moving the puck well, you know, getting our shots, taking our chances. So, you know, that's something we've been working on a lot in practice is just trying to capitalize and uh, it's nice to see it paying off. It's not obviously the easiest thing to come from the prep school ranks into junior. And you kind of mentioned that you're getting acclimatized to the systems here. What are the biggest, you know, maybe challenges you've kind of faced that you feel like you're starting to get better at now as a junior hockey defenseman? Um, you know, just adjusting to the speed is kind of the first thing, you know, just getting used to playing at that pace and, uh, you know, making decisions quicker, moving your feet more. And so just things like that. But, you know, like I said, you know, the teammates and coaching staff have been really helpful and kind of helped me just get used to playing here and uh, really helped me feel comfortable. And how does Southern Alberta compare to New Jersey? <laughs> it's a little bit different, but, you know, I like it a lot. I, I feel I feel really comfortable here. So, you know, it, it's been a great experience. A tough stretch for you guys, seven games in 11 days. So as you already start preparing for Tuesday night in Olds, what's kind of top of mind for you guys to be able to keep the good times rolling as they have these last three yeah i think we just need to keep building off of this obviously take care of the bodies like you said a lot of games in a, in a shorter period of time so you know that's a big piece for us and just kind of keep rolling and hopefully you know the uh, momentum stays in our in our favor appreciate the time sam congrats on the win yeah thank you very much now joined by orders assistant coach brody halewood and you know brody after that tough road trip last weekend up north the team's now scored 21 goals in their last three games what has this team been doing so much better as of late or are they just being rewarded for things they were already doing yeah, I think a little bit of both. You know, we are being rewarded for the same type of play that we were doing before. Um, but right now we're really coming together and really moving that puck really well. And we're, we're getting rewarded for everything right now, so it's good. Big theme over the last little while has been special teams. Uh, four more power play goals today with number one power play in the AJHL coming into today's game. You were going up against the number two ranked penalty kill in the AJHL too and made fairly quick work of them. What's this power play been doing so well as of late um, to get those kinds of results? Yeah, no, our puck movement's been a lot better on the power play, and I think that's the biggest contributor to our, our success on it. We're moving that puck and starting to generate more shots than and collapsing to that net, looking for our second and third opportunities. So I think that's the biggest part. So for the defensive side of things, you only have five D-men coming into this game. Not only do they look no worse for wear, but Sam Hall gets his first two AJHL goals and adds two assists. What did you think of the d in general, and in particular how Sam's really become comfortable with this team as well? Yeah, no, I thought they were good tonight. Uh, a few little mistakes here and there just with our turnovers and just trying to move that puck a little bit quicker um, coming out of our D zone and neutral zone. But I thought overall they were good. Um, yeah, getting more chances, getting more shots on net. And with that, you get a little bit more opportunities and a couple more points. So. Well, and also I keep asking about the young guys because they just keep doing amazing things. Thomas Mack gets his first AJHL goal. This is actually the game winner tonight. Brett Wilson gets another nice goal. And uh, Hayden Fetchner had a ton of good chances against his former team. It's kind of the same question as I asked you after the last game. But how much are those guys continuing to impress you? And how much more comfortable does it make your staff with putting those guys out there in key situations? Yeah, no, every game they just keep coming out and keep playing hard. And you know, contributing to our success and it's it's helping the team, you know, to have those young guys come in as first years in the first half of the season and contribute the way they are. It's awesome, right? So it's been huge. Appreciate this, uh, Brody. Good luck keeping it going on Tuesday night. Thanks.